So these trees are still good as far as lumber goes. You couldn't take them to like a uh, commercial mill and sell them there. They just wouldn't take them because once the moisture level gets to a certain extent on them, they're, they're dead like this and they're starting to dry out. They won't go through the dryers at the mill. They'll actually, uh, they can catch on fire a lot quicker because the moisture level is not near as good as like the green stuff is. So, uh, but they're still perfect for like a wood miser or a circle saw or anything like that. So what he asked me to do was if I would go ahead and cut them up for him. So I hacked them up and then brought them out with, with my machine and stacked them over there to where he could take them to somebody had a little sawmill and, and cut them up. Also too, they'll, they'll be blue. They'll have a blue stain in them from where they're drying out. And it's just the moisture coming out of them. And then if they sawed them at a real mill and took them to say a Lowe's or Home Depot or something like that, nobody would buy the boards, which in my opinion, the boards with the blue in them are absolutely beautiful. I like them like that myself and, and a lot of other people do too, but commercially in the in the big box stores, man, uh, somebody's gonna call through those and they're not gonna they're not gonna go after them. So that's the reason why you can't really do anything with this dead stuff commercially. Uh, you can uh, you can do it again and have it sawed up, and it's fine for anything. I mean, it's still still great. So that's what I did on this, and it didn't go to waste. times on these pines they got real thick bark on them and I like to be able to see where the meat is on the tree so I'll take and cut the sides off of it just shave the bark off of it where I can actually see the what I would call, I say meat but it's the wood part of the tree that way I can tell exactly how thick my hinge is because the bark Again, it's so thick that sometimes it's a little bit deceptive, so I'll just kind of knock it back to where I can where I can see it real good. And also, when I cut, come back on this one here, I don't cut all the way out. I leave a little bit on it, my trigger, and I just snap it with the machine. You'll see here in just a second. <laughs>
This tree was in the corner of this power line, kind of in a 90 right there. So there's a power line on the right-hand side of it and a power line on the left-hand side of it. If you look right over there, there's an old well house right there. I didn't want to hit it. And then those oaks there. So this is for the church. I had taken those other trees down for the same guy. And he said, hey, will not you run up here into our church and, and get this one down too while you're up here. And I said, well, I said, I can cut that tree but I said, uh, I said, the only place this got to go is right there through that hole. And I said, uh, I don't want to hit the well. And I said, but it's going to de-limb some of these limbs out of that uh, big, or that post oak right there. And he said, don't worry about that. He said, just break the limbs out of it. That'll be fine. And I said, okay. I said, that'll work. So uh, I just took it and cut it and let it go right down through there where, where it did, you know, to keep it off the... Well, wow. surprisingly, the fiber in this tree still held pretty good, even though it had been dead as long as it had been been gone. You can see the wheelhouse coming into view over there. In just a second, you'll see the the couple of limbs from the post oak there that's, that's laying on top of it that broke out. But anytime you send a tree down through something like that and you're going to go out and work it like I'm working it, before you go out there, always look up in those trees and make sure there's not anything just dangling or hanging about to fall and you know land on it while you're out there uh, cutting this stuff up because it can it can really ease up in there and and get hung up real quick and uh, it can fall out at, at any second so just be uh, mindful of that as you're working through a tree like this <laughs>
Black clock work, baby. You're not watching me. What are you doing? I made this all wear you down after a while, won't yeah. That ain't too heavy. No. I mean, it, it's not as bad as 20, I thought. It's about 21 pounds. Now, after about five or ten now minutes. I wouldn't want to limb a tree with it, you know, but. <laughs> Dang. And that's something good on the horse. 